Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm doing something I haven't done in a very, very long time. I have been uploading series after series, so I haven't had the chance to go into CAS. I literally haven't been in CAS for a while, so I thought today let's go ahead do a little bit of a fun CAS challenge inspired by Claire Chavon, and let's just have some fun, let's calm down, obviously we just started our new series, so let's just take a little bit of a break, let's just relax and kinda just do whatever we want. <laughs> um, today I'm gonna go ahead and do like a colour challenge. I don't know, you may have seen Claire Chavon's video, it's hard to explain, but the whole sim has to be one colour, and then we mix them colours together to make a child. That's basically the challenge. I thought it was kind of fun, I thought it just sounded really, really cool. So, I'm gonna go ahead and try it. We do have a really beautiful looking sim. Um, we just started off with her, she's adorable. So, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna adjust her a little bit, and then we're gonna, like, start getting into the challenge, which is gonna be fun. The two colours I'm gonna be doing are yellow and blue to go ahead and make green. So, <laughs> we're gonna do yellow for the girl sim, blue for the boy sim, and then we're gonna go ahead and make a green sim. That's how it's gonna work. So, I feel like this could be pretty fun, we could definitely make this fun. I just want to make her really soft looking, really cute, just kind of how you would imagine the colour yellow, that's kind of what I'm going for. Okay, let's just go ahead and do it. I have gone ahead and downloaded a ton of coloured skin tones, so this is honestly- oh, Whoa, should we go pastel or should we go bold? I don't know, I'm really enjoying the pastel. I mean, just look how beautiful that is. Do you know what? I'm doing it. I think it looks amazing. Eyebrows are always going to be an issue, though. I have tons, but I don't know if any are going to work at all, especially on a yellow sim. Claire managed to make it work on a blue and a red sim, but yellow? I'm really not sure. Oh my gosh, I feel like that's perfect. I honestly didn't think I'd be able to do this, but wow, that looks amazing. Okay, now the best part, skin details. <laughs> I did actually just go ahead and download a ton of new skin details, so we can make a pretty different looking sim than what I usually do, which is definitely fun. It doesn't really change much, which I like. It just kind of smooths it out, adds a little bit of detail, and honestly, I really like that. I think it looks amazing. I feel like if we just pile it up, she is going to look amazing. Like, she is going to be wonderful. Yellow is actually really easy to work with, because it's the closest to an actual skin tone. So, it's gonna be really easy to add, like, a ton of normal stuff on, which is really, really good for making a sim. This one just goes ahead and adds a tiny bit more detail, which I love. I literally add this to all of my sims, because it really does make them look amazing. She really does look amazing, I feel like I'm gonna love her already, but... On to makeup. This is an interesting part, because I literally never use makeup. I never can be bothered to stay in cast long enough, so makeup is just not something I really do much. The thing is with makeup though, I've got to be really careful that I don't pass over to orange. I feel like yellow is going to be really hard because it's going to match too much, but I also can't pass over to orange, so it's definitely going to be a struggle. Okay, never mind. I am really, really liking how this one looks. I feel like that just fits perfectly. I love it so much, okay. I would like to go ahead and add some blush. I feel like we could definitely get it looking somewhat yellowish. So, if we don't add too much of it... I don't know, I feel like we can definitely get it somewhere where we want it. Somewhere like that? It's definitely not yellowish, but it's not that far away. So honestly, I'm gonna allow myself to have that. I am really falling in love with her already. She is exactly what I pictured her as. Like this, it's perfect. It's literally everything. Okay, now to the hair. I have actually recently rearranged all of my hairs. So, it may be a little bit hard for me to remember where everything is, but now all of my hairs from each creator are together, which I love. I feel like that is just exactly what I needed. 
Yellow is actually going to be really, really hard because I don't want to cross over to blonde. I want to make sure she has yellow hair, so I feel like I'm definitely going to struggle with this a lot. Something like this is definitely more blonde, but it does work. I mean, that does completely work with her skin tone. If we were going to go something like this, I don't know. That just doesn't really look good. I'm actually really loving something like this. It's definitely what I'm picturing. I feel like she really does look adorable. It's either this or this one, and I can't really pick between the two. We could also go for something like this. I don't know, I really am struggling. It's honestly one of these three. I can't pick. Okay, do you know what? I'm going for this one. I like it, I feel like it looks amazing. Now, clothes. This is probably gonna be way harder than I expect it to be. I'm kinda liking something like this. It's definitely not pastel, but it works. It really does work. It doesn't stand out too much. So, I feel like that really is perfect. Okay, change of plans, we're going for this. I feel like this fits perfectly. I love it. It looks amazing. So, that's what we're going for. <laughs> so, that's it. I feel like that is yellow done. I actually really love her. I feel like she looks amazing. Oh my gosh. Do you know what? For our male sim, I'm actually going to go ahead and dive into my hashtag. For anybody that's new, I've got a hashtag on the gallery called hashtag Alfie Townies, where you guys upload your sims and I put them into my game. So I'm actually going to go ahead and grab our male sim off of there just because it's fun. Oh wow, I really did forget how much I love your guys' sims. I mean, look at these sims. Whoa. <laughs> I love this. Right, do you know what? I really like him. I'm gonna go ahead and add him. He's actually come over really cool looking. He's a vampire though, so that's not really fun. But I'm gonna go ahead. What was he again? Blue. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> that That's a big change. He's actually super adorable though. The eyebrows go really well. They just look dark blue. So... Skin details, this is so much easier because I don't have to make the sim. I'm loving this little chin dimple. I think it looks adorable. So I'm going to go with that one. It definitely, does it change much? I feel like it does. That's definitely a big difference. That one is fine. He's kind of giving me alien vibes. He just looks like he doesn't belong in this planet. I mean, look at him. He's literally blue. He's definitely adorable though. I'm loving him. He did have some cuts before. So, I'm thinking, should we give him some cuts again? I'm kind of liking the idea, but we definitely can't go red. Okay, something like that. They're definitely not that visible, but he definitely does look a little beaten up, which I love. Do you know what? I love the freckles. I feel like they look amazing. I'm just gonna go with it, because why not? It really does look cool. I'm kind of liking him with some eye makeup. I never put eye makeup on my boys, but just look how cool that looks. It just adds something to his eyes. I actually really like it. The question is, can we get away with some blush? I'm honestly not feeling like we can. Look how... Okay, do you know what? That actually looks... I think we can get away with that. That really does look good. Okay, do you know what? We found it. There definitely is a tiny bit of red on his face. I have no idea what's going on there. But I don't feel like the red stands out too much. So honestly, I'm done. I, that's what we're going for. Facial hair. I feel like this is going to be really hard. I don't feel like this is going to... Do you know what? It definitely doesn't look bad. Like, it's not too much, you know? I kind of like it. Hair is definitely going to be really hard. If I was to have picked any other color, I don't feel like I would have been able to do it. But this creator here... They have some good swatches. They they do a lot of swatches. So if we go something like this, it definitely works. Oh my gosh. I feel like that is way too dark. But just look how cool that looks. That literally looks amazing. <gasps> okay, do you know what? We're done. That looks amazing. I do actually have a body overlay that will completely get rid of this. It's a bit much, but it definitely does fix that issue. So... Now, clothes, I don't know how hard this is going to be, I really don't. A lot of them aren't far off, but at the same time, they're just not what we're looking for, so that's what's annoying. Like, we could get away with that. 
we actually could get away with that. I'm gonna look for something closer, but we could really get away with that one. Okay, that definitely works. Do you know what? I'm kind of liking that as well. Trousers won't be too hard because jeans is literally the perfect color, but that works. That really does work. Okay, I feel like we're done with him. That all fits perfectly. I love him. I love him so much. I literally can't describe how much I love these sims. They're amazing. So, we've done blue, we've done a male blue sim, and we've gone ahead and done yellow. Now, if we mix these two together, we're gonna make green. Okay, this is honestly gonna be kind of fun. I'm actually really liking this because I never do challenges like these. So, let's mix together their genetics, randomize three times, and then let's make a green sim. Okay, honestly, I, I don't think she's that bad. She got her mum's skin tone. It kind of looks like she's taken after her mum a lot, but we can't see yet, so let's go ahead and make a green sim. This is honestly going to be kind of fun. I love how it gave her green eyes. It almost knew what we were doing, but I don't know what shade of green to go for. Like, we could definitely go... I'm kind of liking this, though. Right, do you know what? I'm really, really liking that shade. I feel like that is perfect. I have these green toddler eyebrows, but I am trying to avoid going for a plant sim. At the moment, if I go ahead and give her eyebrows that look like that, I feel like she's gonna very quickly become a plant sim, which I don't want. So we have a few options. We can either give her bleached eyebrows so it looks like she has none, or we can give her black. I honestly don't know what I want to go for. Do you know what? I'm going to leave the eyebrows, give her some skin details, and then we'll come back to them. I'm kind of liking something like this on her, though. I feel like we're going to very quickly make a plant sim. It's this skin tone. I might actually change it. We have something like this, which is definitely a completely different shade of green, but it definitely works, and it's not as planty, which I love. Honestly, I feel like that. We can definitely make that work. The thing is with toddlers, I literally have no idea what she looks like. So I have no idea whether to give her soft features like her mum or features more like her dad. So I'm kind of just throwing anything on. I don't know, toddlers are really hard in this game. I am kind of liking her though, I have to be honest. I am really, really liking how she looks. So honestly, I don't know, I think she does look adorable. Okay, there is no way I'm going to be able to make lips work, especially not on a toddler. It's just not going to look good. No, I'm not I'm not even going to try it. She really is looking adorable though. I am so excited. Hair. This is where I'm going to kind of literally make or break the sim. So, I definitely have to pick wisely. We could go for a shade like this, which honestly, I really am liking. I think that looks adorable. We also have a lot of choice, which is perfect. Yeah, I really do feel like the only shade of hair we're getting is the darker ones, which honestly I'm not minding, it definitely makes the eyebrows work. So, uh, we've also got a lot of choice, like we literally have got so much to choose from as well, which I feel like we can make this work. Okay, this one is just adorable, I mean look at that. She looks amazing, she really is adorable. I was, I was kind of a little bit iffy at first, but now I'm really liking how I actually am. Like I said earlier, giving her something like this is giving me very much plant sim vibes, and I do not want that. It works, but she just looks like a plant sim. But something like this, it both works and she looks amazing. Wow, do you know what? That's it. That is it right there. Green shoes. Now this could be hard. Okay, do you know what? It really does work. There she is. There is our little green sim. I love her. I actually really do love her so much. Look at this little family. I love them. I actually love them. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it. Green sim. And then I'm gonna age her up. I just want to see what she looks like. Okay, honestly, she looks adorable. I feel like she got the perfect mix of her mum and her dad. She looks like both of them, I actually love that. I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and give her everything she had as a toddler, all of her skin details and everything, and then I'm gonna show you guys how she looks. 
Okay, there we go. Green Sim is an adult. I am literally in love with her. I think she looks amazing. She really does just look like a normal Sim. You wouldn't even... I can't even know. Obviously, I'm wording everything wrong. Obviously, you can notice that her skin is bright green. But she does just look like a normal Sim, which I love. I tried to give her the same vibe that she had at a, as a toddler. She looked like a very smart, kind of businessy woman, formal. So that's what I gave her as an adult. And honestly, I am loving it. I think she looks amazing. So, that's it. That's the challenge. I really do recommend that you guys try this challenge out because I've literally spent over two hours on this challenge. I had so much fun. Um, but yeah, if you guys did enjoy it, go ahead and smash that like button. Join my Discord down below and go ahead and send me, if you guys do this challenge, send me all of the photos, send me your sims, even go ahead and put them on the gallery under my hashtag. And yeah, if you guys did enjoy, subscribe, do whatever you want or have to do, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye!